Hey guys, welcome to another new tutorial. And today, I will show you how to design this animated slide for your presentation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first pick a oval shape holding Ctrl Shift drag it over here. Now go to format click on shape fill changes color. Then go to shape outline make no outline. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, resize it, place it here, change this color from shape fill, make another copy, change this color, resize it, place it here, make another copy, make it a bit smaller, place it here, from shape fill we need to change the color again. Make another copy of this small circle, making a bit bigger, place it here, change this color from shape fill and for the last time, duplicate this small circle again, resize it, place it here, change this color from shape fill. After creating all these circles, we need to add some icons. So go to insert, click on pictures, from here I am taking these icons. You can download free icons from flaticon.com. I'll give the link in the video description. Here you can see that I am placing all the icons one by one on each circle. After adding all the icons, we need to pick a line shape, drag it over here, go to format, click on shape outline, change the color. Again go to shape outline and increase the weight to 2.5 point. Then make a duplicate of it, place it here, resize it from this side, select this two and press Ctrl G to group them together. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it here, from shape outline change the color so that it matches with the circle, again make a duplicate, rotate vertically, place it here, from shape outline change the color again. In this way, you have to make a few duplication of this line shape and place them in the right position with a new color. This is really simple, that's why I'm doing it faster. Now we have to pick a text box, drag it over here, add some number, change the font to TWCENMT, increase the font size, change the font color and set the align right. Make another copy of this text box, add some header text, decrease the font size, make another copy of this text box, add some explanatory text, decrease the font size again and change the color to this dark gray. After that we have to select these three text boxes, press Ctrl G to group Place it here, press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring it to here and then we just need to change the color of this number and header text so that it matches with the color of the belonging circle. Now we have to repeat the same process again and again to have all the necessary text boxes. These are really simple steps, that's why to save your time, I'll skip this part. After adding all the text boxes, you will have something like this. Now I would like to go back to my previous slide and from here. I will copy these two elements and paste it over here. We are done with creating all the elements. So first select this circle to animate. Go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. And now to add the animation on this circle, go to add animation and from here select zoom. After that select this icon, go to add animation and select zoom. Set start after previous, duration 0.50 second and delay 0.10 second. Now select this line shape, go to add animation, select wipe. Then from effect option, select from right. Then set start after previous, duration 0.50 second and delay 0.10 second. Now we have to select this group of text box, go to add animation, select zoom. Then set start after previous, duration 0.50 second and delay 0.10 second. To animate this second block, we have to repeat the same process. First select this circle, go to add animation, 
select zoom. Then set start after previous duration 0 0.50 second and delay 0 0.10 second. Now select this icon, go to add animation, select zoom, set start after previous duration 0 0.50 second and delay 0 0.10 second. After that select this line shape, go to add animation, select wipe from effect option, select from right. Now set start after previous duration 0 0.50 second and delay 0 0.10 second. For this group of text box, select zoom, set start after previous duration 0 0.50 second, delay 0 0.10 second. If you start the slideshow, you can see that our first two block animation is working perfectly. I think you have noticed that we are using the same animation for each block. So here I'll not add the animation manually, I'll use the animation painted tool. So first select this animated circle, click on animation painter to copy the animation and paste it on this circle. Same for this icon, copying the animation and pasting over here. Again copy the animation of this line shape and paste it here. Do the same for this text box. In this way we have to animate the rest of the elements. First select a previously animated object, then click on animation painter to copy the animation and then paste that animation on a new object. These are not that much difficult. That's why to save your time, I'm doing the rest of the work in fast forward mode. And here we're done. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly. You can download this template for free. I've given the download link in the video description. Please like this video and give a comment that really inspire us. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the time to time notifications from our channel. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.